3D simulation, every 3D animator's greatest nightmare. It takes weeks to learn, hours to create, and days to finish simulating. But what if I told you it didn't have to be that way? What if there was a Blender add-on that made it so, so simple to do these simulations, you literally had to click one button and it was done? What if I told you that instead of having to wait 16 hours for a simulation to process on your computer, you can watch your simulation playback in real time? And finally, what if I told you that instead of having to watch hour-long tutorial videos, I can explain it to you in this single video? Well, guess what? All of those imaginations just became true, because that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. So the add-on I'm talking about here is this real-time flame generator by Specular, who also created that river generator thing a while back. But either way, super easy to use. All you have to do is go to the Blender Market, download it, and then you can actually just open it up as a .blend file. And so essentially, the way this works is there are two collections. There's one with the camera, the flame, the floor, the light, etc. And then the second collection has a bunch of other random objects. And this is essentially how the add-on works. Anything you put inside of this collection starts on fire, and you can preview it in real time, which is just... It's mind-blowing, genuinely. Especially if you compare this to something like Mantaflow, which you have to wait like 16 hours for something to bake and simulate. The other great thing is this all works through geometry nodes. Meaning, if you select the flame object, we can actually change a ton of different settings. For example, the speed, or density, uh, as well as gravity, I think you can also change. And genuinely, just a ton of extra settings. And the great thing about this is it works in both the EV and Cycle, so you can just switch to the render engine and not have to worry about changing any settings, so that is extremely useful. Anyways, if you want to learn about another one of my favorite Blender add-ons, click the video on screen now, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.